that you would strengthen and keep them in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. And the scripture is, hallelujah, Psalms 29 and 1. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Beauty of holiness. Psalms 29 and 2. Come on and bless the Lord for the praise team. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Look around and somebody tell them it's good to see you. Happy New Year to everybody. Lord, you are everything I hope for. You are everything I need more than I could ever ask. More than I could even think. You are higher than all the mountains. You are wider than Just your voice rule all creation. Yet you love someone like me. There is none, none, none like you. No way, no, no one so great. For in true rule of love. Somebody say, he's a healer. Lord, you are. Somebody say, he's a deliverer. Lord, you are. Listen, I want you to look at a neighbor and say, neighbor. Lord, you say, neighbor. Are. God was good to you in 22. God was good to you in 22. 
Tell him, say, but he's going to be better. Yeah. At 23. At 23. Oh, Every, I, listen, I want you to go tell three people, say, everything's going to work in my favor. Oh. I'm going in with it. Everybody say, Lord, you are. Go tell somebody. Lord, you are. I might got to go through some Woo. things, but he's going to work in my life. Lord, you are. 23 is going to be great for me. You got to speak it. Come on. Lord, you are. Get out of your seat and go walk across. We're going to tell somebody. Go Lord, tell somebody. You are. This side, go tell Miss Washington. Go tell somebody. It's happening. Lord, you are. Good things is happening right now. Good things is coming. Every good gift and perfect gift come from God. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. Throw your hands up to him. This year we go higher. Get your hands up now. Get your hands up. I wish I had Dylan here. Lord, a, take it up higher. Take him up higher. Lord, you are. Lord, you are. Give three people a high five and say, he's everything we need. Lord, you are. Woo. Get out of your seat and go tell somebody some good things that's happening. Let's look at your neighbor and say, something is in here. I speak greatness over you. Oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Amen. Lord, you are. You the great provider. You supply everything that we need. We just want to bless the Lord this morning. Amen. Happy New Year to all of you. Amen. This morning. Very Miracle Fellowship Center family. Amen. Come on, let's bless the Lord for the praise team. Amen. Hallelujah. The song said, all my life, you have been good. You've been faithful too. Amen. I'm just going to sing about the goodness of the Lord. Has he been good to you? It, hallelujah. The goodness of God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we've been faithful and sometimes not. But all my life. Lord, have mercy. Tell your neighbor, say, all my life. All of my life. Woo. So good. Hallelujah. With every breath that every I am able, I will sing. And I will see of the, the goodness, goodness of God. Tell your neighbor, say, all my life. In all my life you have been faithful. I, I just can't count one time that he had all been All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath. With every breath that I am able. Hallelujah. And I will sing. I'm going to sing. Of the goodness of God. I will sing. Hallelujah. Of the goodness Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. And I will sing. Hallelujah. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath. And every time that I am able. I'm going to sing about it. I will sing. I'm going to sing about of it. Of the goodness. The goodness. Of God. Oh, Lord, yeah. I will sing. I'll sing. Of the goodness. The goodness of God. Of God. He's been good, y'all. Yeah.
I'll sing of the goodness, the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Somebody gave me a gift over the holidays. Yes. Amen. And on the writing on the big mug it had on there that God is good, y'all. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say, God is good. Woo, he is good. Hallelujah. He's a good God. And I'm just going to sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Come on, let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to appreciate God for being back in fellowship again. Amen. A lot of things have happened. A lot of things have taken place. But he allowed us to come together one more time. Tell your neighbors it one more time. Amen. And we just appreciate God and honor God. Amen. For amen 2023. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for our bishop and our first lady. Amen. The pastors, amen. The elders, the ministers, amen. Just the entire Woodbury Miracle Fellowship Center Church family. Tell your neighbor, say a church of life. See, it is worth the drive. Amen. And we just want to thank God. Want to continue to pray one for another. Amen. Man ought to always pray and not faint. But we thank God. Amen. Just want to say that Tuesday is our church fast day. From Monday, 12 o'clock midnight to Tuesday, 5 o'clock p.m. Amen. Bible teaching, amen, at 7 o'clock p.m., amen. Or is it council? What? Okay. Okay, so Bible teaching is canceled as well. Amen. Too many voices. <laughs> I need one voice. Bishop said he explained explain it. <laughs> Thank God for our bishop. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He's the one that delegates the authority. Amen. But it's still his amen, responsibility. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. On next Sunday, amen, the voice of the miracle will be singing. Amen. Next Sunday, second Sunday. Amen. I'd like to say today, amen, for those of you that were born in the month of January, could you please stand to your feet? <laughs> New Year. <laughs> amen. Happy birthday. Come on, let's say happy birthday to the one. Amen. Also, for those of you that got married in January, could you please stand? All right, so the fold is jumped on up there. See that, bro, fold? Amen. Happy anniversary, amen, to the ones that got married in January. Amen. We just appreciate God for all of you. Amen. We appreciate him at this time. We want you to continue to keep praying for each other. Amen. As we go through life. Amen. So God bless y'all. Amen. And everybody said, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. God is an awesome God. And you don't have to think long. You don't have to think hard. <laughs> we think about the goodness of the Lord. We here for another year. The Lord hath brought us through a lot of stuff, man. And we, we, we know it was him because we, we just couldn't have did it by ourselves. It's offering time. <laughs> Bow your heads. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for this offering. We thank you for those that are sowing in this ministry. Oh, God, we ask it in praying that you multiply their seed. Ask the prayer to bless them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, you know each and every need. Touch right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, those that are giving online, those that are mailing their offering in, those that are going bank to bank, God, we ask it in print that you touch them in their giving. 
in their seed. Meet their needs, Lord. Bless their businesses. Bless them on their jobs, God. Give them promotions, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let their families be well. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Come on, Deacon Mr. Wood. Let's receive our offering. Malachi 3 and 8 say, Will a man rob God? But you say, wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offering? Bring you all the tithes to the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me. Herewith says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that you would not have room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And all nations shall call you blessed. When you sow and give and put God first in your giving, God will honor that. He'll multiply. He'll, he'll press it down. He'll shake it together and cause it to run over. You'll find that, that, that men will give to your bosom. You, you, you'll find that, that, that every which way you turn, God is making a way for you. When it seems like there is no way, when it seems like there's no way out, he makes a way. He promised that he would rebuke the devourer for your sake. If you call on him, he'll answer. If you put him first in your giving, he'll meet your needs. He'll make a way for you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for your giving. Can't sing with the mask on. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. I need y'all to help me. How many know the Lord made a way for you? Yeah. My God. Did you think you weren't going to make it? Didn't know how you were going to come out? Didn't even see no way out? But somehow, in some way, God did it? Oh, you, you made a way. Say it to him. Sing it to the Lord. Sing it to the Lord. And it looks. And it looks as if it's over. Oh, you. Yes, you made it. Yes, you did. And I'm standing right here. And I'm standing here. Oh, because. Only because you made a way. Sing it to the Lord. You made a way. You made a way. You. Yes, you did. Say it to the Lord. Way. Yes, you did. You made a way. You made a way. Point to him and say, you made a way. You Woo! made yes, a way. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. And I'm standing, and I'm standing here. Only because. Only because. Go. 
gonna make it. You made a way. You yes, you made a way. It looked very dark and very dim, but you, you made a way. You yes, made you did. A Only because, Only because you made And lift those hands and open your mouth and tell God I thank you. It was nobody but you. Come on, let the Lord know you thank him. You know you wouldn't have made it without God. You would have went on. You would have drowned. But thank God, his grace, his mercy, his favor rested on our lives. And for this, we say thank you. Rest on your feet. There's a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. Myrtle Summers wrote a song and said, Lord, give me something to hold on to. You ever been in a place that you just needed something? You didn't need the whole Bible. You just needed one word to hold on to. All you needed was to say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Lord, Father, in Jesus' name, there's a word for you today. And I believe God, this year will be great. Woo! I said this year will be great. Anytime the devil is on a rampage, and any time the world looks like it's in chaos, God always steps in for his people. God always makes a way. Even if it's a famine, God will send you to the place where bread could be fed to you. Our God, he's a way maker. He's a way maker. Somebody shout, he's a way maker. Come on, let's receive our pastor, the bishop, Thomas Daniel. Somebody shout, preach, bishop. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap if you will. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good. You may be seated. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. We're using today as, amen, our watch night service. Amen. We're just, amen, beginning the first day of a new year 2023 we all made it so let's give the lord a hand clap for that amen god is good all the time and all the time god is good normally on watch night we have a seed offering uh, and people begin to seed into the ministry amen for the coming year amen we're going to take the whole month of january and whenever, whatever week you want to just seat into the ministry, then that's perfectly okay. But everybody, amen, want you to seat into the ministry during the month of January. We'll be closing it out. Is that all right? How many know you reap what you sow? So as you sow into the ministry, amen, you'll have a harvest. There will be a harvest, amen. God, amen, he blesses his people, and he is so good. God is just so good to us amen we just thank god amen for his goodness i would like to uh, mention a couple of things that we do during the year amen one thing is amen the bible reading we need everybody get the bible readings on the outside and we read it once amen a day we read it once a day or whatever for the whole year amen so get the bible reading and we want to keep that up that's very important the word of God. We should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Also, everybody said Tuesday. Tuesday is our fast day. Tuesday, and tell your neighbor, say Tuesday is fast day. We need at least 80%. 80% of the folk fasting. We only go from 12 uh, Monday night, 12 o'clock to, amen, 5 o'clock, amen, Tuesday evening. Now, we need at least 80%. That's eight out of every 10 people. 
some of us are not doing it, but we need everybody. It helps when we're all joined together. There's strength in unity. How many know there's strength in unity? So fasting Tuesday, amen. And what fasting does, it brings our body under subjection. There are some things that we need to take control of ourselves. And so fasting helps bring our bodies under subjection to God's will for our life. Amen. Our theme for the coming year, declaring victory in 2023. Declaring victory. We're going for victory. We're going for victory. We're going to do like them boo dog. We're going to go for victory. I had to throw that in. I had to. I just had to throw that in. But God, he's, he is so good. He is so good. Ella Ford, now you, we cannot you let me talk about what has happened. Amen. Uh, the older part of the church, the fellowship hall and downstairs, even that was built in 87, around 87, 88. And we had about four pipes to burst in that uh, ceiling over there because of the weather and whatever. The pipes just pop and they burst and all of a sudden the water came down from the ceiling all the way down to the fellowship hall and it got copied in the fellowship hall all the way down to the floor. It was a flood in the bottom of the floor. It just so happened we got a tile down there, but the water had to leak out some kind of way. And so it just so happened that Lorraine, her husband, Willie, was in town for a week and she, she was thinking they were going to have a week, but uh, hello up in here. Uh, and, 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 and Brother Loveless, they got together and they fixed some pipes to stop that water. <laughs> they, they, they stopped those, they stopped that leak up there in that ceiling. But we do have some damage in, 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 in the fellowship hall, so we will not be using the fellowship hall for about, uh, actually, it may be two or three months. So, we other four, we may have to set up something for you to maybe come in the sanctuary or something, or maybe in that hallway or whatever, you can kind of figure it out, and, and we'll get together and figure it out. But yeah, we, do, we don't want that to stop Tuesday night. We want that, that's a part of what we do. That's a part of what we do. So we want to keep that. We're going to visit, but we're going that hallway. We're going here in the sanctuary. As a matter of fact, when the water came down, it came down in the center. This, is a, this flow has a... a, 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 a a walk down, a flow, it flows down. And so the water came in where the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, tape uh, is, and it just came down all the way to the pool pit. And it, it stopped, but, it, but on the right side, it didn't roll down. On that side, it, didn't, it just came down this center, and it just stopped right here. It didn't get in my office, it didn't get back in the back, but it did get to this point. Now, we don't know if it's under here, but we gotta check that out. And it just so happened that we do have insurance. Amen. Now, now that was a breakthrough right there. That was a breakthrough. Uh, we do have insurance, and the insurance suggestions have already been here. They checked it out, and they gave us a permission that we could come in and have service in the sanctuary. Amen. It takes about three to four weeks for that meal do, amen, and molding to create itself. So they, they're going to come in this week. They're bringing everything in this week. They're going to clean. They're going to clean out everything. We had thought we were going to get a new floor. We don't know. But they're going to go through the whole thing, through the whole building. <laughs> and they're going to clean out all the water. They're going to get everything that's in here, amen. God is so good. There's a couple of names I need to make mention of. Amen. Deb, Deb, uh, Debbie, she called. Amen. Sunday uh, morning, uh, Christmas morning. And said, Bishop, is a mess down here. Lord have mercy. And, and, and then Peter and Willie and them, they got started then. And, and, and all of a sudden now, uh, they just cut everything off. So Deb, Peter, Willie, and uh, 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 Michael Bowles. Micah came over and helped them guys do their thing. Lord have mercy. God is 
so good. So we just have to give God the credit, amen. The devil meant it for evil, but God. And sometimes just don't put it on the devil, just bad pipes, you know, just, just sometimes just hello up in here, got bad gas, and the car don't want to act right. And sometimes stuff happens, but God is so good, and we're just grateful that we were able to have service today. That's a blessing in itself that we're able to have service on today, and and everybody just cooperated and worked, and and just you know we just we just I mean uh, you know it makes me love the church even that more you know make me love the people even that more and we got a good crowd out today and I could talk on but we need to move into the Word of God Amen Amen move into the Word of God in the book of First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter First Corinthians anything else I need to say First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter. I hear it on the way home, y'all. I hear it. Yeah. Moving on, moving on. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, looking at, amen, that 57th and 58th verses. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the 15th, uh, 57th and 58th verses, and, and it reads, but thanks be to God, Again, thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, in the Lord. Father, as we enter your word on the day, we pray that you would anoint these lips of clay that we may teach and preach your word on application. Somebody need a miracle? Somebody need a touch? Somebody need healing? Somebody need deliverance? God, whatever they need, you are a way maker. You're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask. Oh, thanks. So, Father, we release that anointing in, into the sanctuary on today, God. Oh, bless us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Set the captive free. As we go into 2023, God, amen, we are declaring victory. We are declaring victory. Victory going in and victory coming out, God. In the name of Jesus, bless your people, Lord. Deliver your people. Set the captive free. In the name of Jesus, God, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for all of your goodness and your mercy. Your loving kindness, and we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. But thanks be to God who giveth us, who giveth us. Victory is free. Thanks be to God who gives us, who gives us the victory. And that victory comes through. You can't get nothing from God unless you go through Jesus. I was riding down the highway, and all of a sudden, it was raining, and, 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 and the car started to slide. And all I had to do was holler Jesus. And when I hollered Jesus, the car in front of me, amen, it got out the way, and the car behind me, it slowed down, and I was able to slow down through there's something about that name Jesus. There's power in that name Jesus. So everything that you get from God comes through Jesus. Therefore, my beloved brethren, uh, Paul here is saying, be steadfast. Steadfast. Unmovable. Stuff going to happen, but don't let it shake you up. Can I get a witness? Steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. They were talking about living in victory, living in victory, walking and talking and living in 
victory. And that 50, amen, third verse, same chapter, amen, is saying, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. In other words, amen, everything is working together for our good, but we are living in a corruptible body. This body is gonna, only going to last you for so long. You can get all the cab and client, everything else, but it only going to last for so long. And you can't go back and get the days that's already gone. And we ain't got but a few days ahead of us. So you got to figure out what you're going to do with this corruptible, corruptible body. As a matter of fact, God give us our own will. You can get saved and still do what you want to do. Can I get a witness? But, but, but here he's saying, Paul is, is teaching, he's saying, listen, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. So in other words, when we get to see God, we got to have an incorruptible body. There can be no claws. There can be no failure. There can be no mistakes. There can be no what I want to do. It, 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 it's going to be all Amen. Incorruptible. Jesus told him, the disciples said, don't touch me right now. Because he hadn't been glorified. He didn't want him to even touch him when he came out of the grave because he had not been glorified. But not only, amen, we must have an incorruptible body, but also, amen, we must have this mortal, the humanness of us. The way we think, the way we act, the way we talk. This mortal must put on immortality. So in other words, God has already designed it so that the soul in us will have a new body. Since this body cannot live forever, we're going to have an, in, an immortal body that can stand in the face of God and not die. Isn't that good? We wish we could see him, but we can't see him and live. But when we get that immortal body, then we can stand in his face. We can see him just like he is. Now we see through mirrors and doctrine. Now we see him, how he moved with the water in the building. But one day we're going to see him face to face. But we got to put on an immortal. This mortal must be changed to immortality. Body got to be changed. And, and so we need the Spirit of God to help us to change in this world. You, you, you can't get to heaven and change. You can't get in the gate and change. They got, they, they got gates, 12 gates, I say, I think, to the city. And, and so you got you to you enter in at the straight gate. So how you live will determine whether or not you can get in the gate. It's always quiet in here. Amen. 54 verse. When this corruptible should have put on incorruption and this mortal should have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, death is swallowed up in victory. When Jesus died, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. When Jesus died, he took death, hell, and the grave and became powerful over them. But we still live. But one day when he come back, death going to be swallowed up. As a matter of fact, let's, let's put it this way. Amen. If we who know God will never die. Those who know God, when you accept him as your personal savior, you, you say, well, wait a minute now. They, 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 buried, they buried the mother. They buried, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. They're sleeping. Because the sting, the sting of death, the pain of death has been taken out. Jesus took it upon him, set to die for you. He led captivity captive. 
and gave gifts unto me. So in other words, what you could not do, he'd already done it for you. But everybody who lives got to take this corruptible body and, and cause it to live in an immortal body. Can I get a witness? In other words, you got you to gotta love God so much while you're here that you can get into heaven where heaven is. You got to love God so much. You got to love your neighbor like you do yourself so much that it calls you to get in the gates. Are you with me? Lying ain't going to get you in. Bible says he hated a liar. Let, 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 let me read on just a little bit more. Amen. That 55th verse. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? We going to die, but they that die in him will live again. Will live Again, so the, the writer is saying, but thanks be to God. God set the whole thing up. He knew in the beginning that Adam would fail, but he had Jesus as a standby. And what Adam could not do, Jesus was able to accomplish it. Oh, my God, Jesus was able to accomplish it. I was, I was watching I was watching TV the other day, and all of a sudden, amen, there was this, these, these people, amen, they were refugees coming from different countries, coming from different places, and, and they're trying to block out Mexico, and they're trying to block out these people from getting into America and these refugees from getting into America. And then at the end of the commercial, all, all of a sudden, a, a sign came up and said, Jesus was a refugee. It said he didn't have no home. He didn't have no house. He didn't have no stove. He didn't have no refrigerator. He had to go from house to house and eat with one another. He was a refugee. You know what he did? He came to take us back to the Father's house. You got to dress up to go to the Father's house. You got to get yourself ready to go to the Can't no sin get in. It, the devil was up there. Lucifer was up there, but, but Jesus kicked him out. And can't no sin. Get in the Father. How? Therefore, thanks be to God who gives us. Hold on to Jesus. Who gives us the victory. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. Steadfast. Let, let them lie on you. Don't, don't you lie on them. Let them lie on you. Unmovable. Don't hate nobody. They may have hurt your flesh, but that flesh ain't no good no way. Can I get a witness? If you, if, if to get in the kingdom, you got to love Everybody, you got to love the hater, the liar, every. Be ye steadfast. Unmovable. Stuff done happen in our life that shook us up. Stuff done happen in our life while we can't get back on track. But you got to forget everything. Lay aside every weight. And sin which does beset you. And run the race. Patience. Be ye steadfast. Be ye steadfast. When you ain't got nothing, be ye steadfast. Don't lie and cheat. Be ye steadfast. Unmovable always. Abiding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor, everything you do, your labor, your work, your pain that you go through, the giving that you do is, is not in vain. In the Lord, victory. Victory. Revelations, Revelation, finna close, Revelation. Amen. Looking at the 20th chapter, book of Revelation. 
and trust first. I'm going into Revelation, but I'm hurry up and get out. <laughs> Revelation 20 and 12. And it reads, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. The book, the, the, the word S, it, it means more than one. The books were open. And another book, this one book here, was open, which is the book of life. What God has prepared, he keep a record when you get saved of everything you do. And it's put in the book. As a matter of fact, he, he bogs up every tear. When you're crying at home and, 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 and what he do, he, he got a bar that he put it in. And you'll have it when you, when you get there. Because everything you do is a record. Every time you tell a lie, it's a record. Every time, every time you run around on your spouse, it's a record. Corruptible has to put on incorruption. Mortal has to put on immortality. And the, and, and the book is a book of life. And the dead were judged. Out of those things which were written in the book according to their works. The reason why you gotta, the reason why you cannot hate is because all of the haters are in the wrong book. All of the liars go to the wrong. There's no life in lying. They may get away in America, but they ain't going to get away in the gate. They ain't getting away in the gate. The book of life and the dead were judged out of the book. Somebody said, well, God is too righteous to judge us. No, 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 no. The book judges you. Because in the book is everything that you did when you met God. Before you met God, you were just a run down, low down, nothing. But when you met God, now you got to change. You can't act like your friends act. That's why everybody in your family ain't saved because they don't want to do what you do. But you want to get in the kingdom. You want to see him face. So you can't act like them. When they get ready to party, you go home. You eat the food. Then when they say, all right now, when the music change, you change. You hurry up, get your bags, and get out the door. Run for your life. Do like, do like, who, who was that, who was that? Do like uh, 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 Joseph. Joseph's wife wanted Joseph. Joseph was a good looking guy, a handsome guy. Joseph's wife wanted him. She pulled on his clothes. He ran out of his jacket <laughs> and ran for his life. He went to jail because she lied on him and told him he had messed with her. And he went to jail. But in the jail, amen, Potiphar, the woman's husband, loved him because everything his hand touched, it, it came out good. And so they loved him so much until after a while, Pharaoh said, Let's bring him to me. And when he came to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, wait a minute, I'm going to make you a judge over my whole country. You can have everything in here. You're going to be second in command. That's what God let folks lie on you. God will take it from nowhere to glory. If God be for you, if God, when they told me that the water had got in the building, I said, if God be 
before us. Who? Who can be against us if God is on your side? We are more than conquerors. We are more than Victoria. I got victory. Ain't no grave. Go hold my body down. You can plant me wherever you want to plant me. But I'm coming out the grave. I'm, I'm coming up. I'm coming again. And Jesus told him, said, Lazarus, he just sleep. Lazarus ain't dead. He, he just sleep. And she said, let's go and wake him up. He said, we were going to wake him up. He said, no, 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 no. No, for you, he dead. But for me, he's alive. Why, why is he alive for you? Because I am the resurrection. I am the life. And though he were dead, yeah. For the child of God, you may knock me down, but I'm going to get back up. You may lie me, but I'm going to get back up. Because the law is on my side. Hello. Got a club. Got a club. Got a club. The name. The, we're judged out of the, those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the C, 13th verse, 20th chapter, Revelation. And the C gave up the dead which were in it. And death. And hell delivered up the dead that were in them. And they were judged. Every man according to his work. God ain't judging nobody. Your work's going to judge you. Everything you do is going to judge you. I'm going to close, but when you get God, you got to get out of jail coma. I'm going to break it down and get out of here. When you get God, I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. And I got sick, went to the hospital, and all of a sudden, they accidentally saw a loop, uh, 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 something like a, a wallop or a loop in my lung. And what they were saying, they asked me, did I smoke? I said, yeah, when I was about 19 to 23 or whatever, I smoked. And they said, you got a little loop in your, in your lung. Now, if I had kept smoking, that thing could have messed up my lungs. See, cigarettes will kill you. Alcohol will kill you. Children's will, I, I leave that alone. <laughs> I ain't messing with nobody up in here. I ain't messing with nobody. Look, some of y'all just looking at me, shaking your head. Ain't no way you gonna let them children go. Moving on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I went there. Moving on. And 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, but in the first death, where life is, we go to be with the Father. Then, when we go and be with him for a short time, because we got to come back, and then for a thousand years, Jesus is going to show us how to live on earth. And then that's, I'm scared of lions. I'm scared of bears. But when I come back with Jesus during the millennium, I can lay down on the bears. Pillar. Because he's going to show us how to live in peace during the millennium. A thousand? Do you know how long a thousand years? A thousand years. Then, after that, we're going back. 
See, you got to be changed. But the changing has to take place here. You got to get this. The changing has to take place here. So stop trying to be like your family member and you be like God. Get in that Bible and find out how to live because he is the, he is the guide. He is the map to get us to where we need to be. Follow him. Because he said you can't come in no other way. Death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. 15. And whosoever were not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Neighbor, what lake you fishing in? Mercy rejoices against judgment. Somebody said, God is too righteous to judge his people. He ain't judging them. You judging yourself. Every time you sit and say, should I do this? And the devil telling you to do this? And, 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 and God telling you to do this? You make the choice. And there are two places. Oh, God. Oh, God. Your works follow you. Sin follow. It follow you. Hatred follow. Love everybody. Treat everybody right. The family members that don't like you, if they need help, help them. Help them. And, and don't get mad when they take your $20 and don't give it back to you. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. <laughs> Look how y'all looking at me. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to I'm gonna my 20, I'm my money back. No, 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 no. You, you, you sending that money on up to glory. Living in victory. You don't have to be depressed. Yeah, because you can't give what you want. Live in victory. Live in victory. Walk in peace. Follow peace. All men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. It's gonna be it's gonna be two books open. A book of life. And books of, there's so many people going to hell until they got to, got to make a, make it bigger. Every now and then you find a traveler, a refugee. I like that, the refugee. People leaving their country where they can come and live in America. And Americans are acting so crazy. quit, but it's a shame the way these folk do it. Shame the way they do it. And don't, don't be like that. Don't be like the world. Don't act like the world. Stop cussing. I'm going to say it again. Stop cussing. Finally, they made me cuss. No, they didn't make you cuss. Nobody made you cut. You've been wanting to say that. Now, 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 what you got to do behind that? Say, Lord, what you got to say? Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Anytime you sin, members, anytime you sin, ask God to forgive you. Now, this is the catch. If you don't mean it in your heart, you wasted your time because you got to do it out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. So when you, when you, when you tell, when I met my, I, I, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. But the first thing first lady told me when I met her, and, and then she said, well, now listen, two things you got to do. You're going to get rid of her, or you're going to get rid of me. I hurried up and got rid of that woman. 
because I kept her. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. She said, you can't have both of them. That's what God is saying. You can't have everybody. I'm a jealous God. You got to love me with all your heart, mind, soul. Amen, Jeff. Come on, let's give Bishop a hand. Amen. How many happy for the Lord? Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, we got victory in 2023. How many receive that word today? I receive it. My soul is on fire for Jesus. Everybody standing on your feet. Amen. Amen. God has great things in store for all of us.